Hey you guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to be taking a look, doing a full review of the MJX X400 mini quadcopter. Now this is a review model from lighttake.com. I'll have the links in the description of where you can pick one of these up if you're interested. And so what we're going to be doing today is basically just kind of doing an out-of-the-box assessment, showing what, com showing what comes in the box, uh, taking it out, doing some flying, um, also going to do some night flying, some park flying, and then coming back and kind of giving you my final thoughts, pros and cons assessment of what I liked about it, what I think could be improved, and just kind of an overall afterthoughts. We're going to go through some, some battery uh, flight time, how long the battery lasts, uh, range testing, all that kind of stuff. So the X400 kind of looks like a direct competitor to something like the X5C, the SEMA X5C uh, little mini quadcopter. And it's got kind of a nice and sleek look. It's got more of a sport look to it. I like the way um, MJX has been kind of doing this kind of unibody sport looking construction to their quads and their hexcopters for that matter. The X600 is a really nice looking um, multi-rotor that I've actually reviewed uh, previously. But anyway, uh, this is another one in their line and it'll be anxious to see how this performs. So anyway, in the box you get the quadcopter itself, the landing gear, which I've already put on. You get the prop guards. This would be good to put on, of course, if you're just kind of starting out training and you would like to um, prevent your blades from Breaking too much from crashing because you are going to crash quite a bit when you are learning how to fly. You get the charger. This will charge your LiPo, which is a 750 mAh 3.7 volt LiPo. And four props, four extra props in the box. And you know, that's that's really good of the manufacturer to, to include four extra props in the box because these these kinds of mini quads they're kind of catered to the beginner and it really helps the beginner if they give you four propellers because you're going to be crashing you're going to be bumping you're going to be breaking things while you learn how to fly and it just you know it just makes sense to to put these in the box it probably only costs the manufacturer a few more cents to put them in so i really appreciate them when they do uh, put them in Anyway, you also get this little bag with a screwdriver and some extra screws for the prop guards and anything else that you need. Instruction manual. This will go through obviously everything that the quad can do. It'll go through all the different modes, how to fly it. That's your basic instruction manual. And last but not least, the controller. So this is kind of the um, the normal MJX kind of mini full-size look-alike controller. And they've been doing pretty good on this controller. It's got quite a bit of features. You can change the um, controller between mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, and mode 4. Just by um, just by pushing this button here, you can go to, to stick mode 2 to 4. And then you can also change to mode um, 1 and 3, I believe it's called, it would be 1 and 3, just by pushing uh, these buttons here, or these levers here. And what that does is it kind of changes the um, what the sticks do on both sides. So instead of it having throttle here, there would be throttle here. And it just basically, you can tune it any way you want. So I'm really... I'm really impressed by MJX in making one controller that can satisfy everybody's needs of control. And the X400 is advertised to have a headless mode and a return to home function as well, kind of specialty functions. So um, what the instructions say is you hold this button down until you hear two beeps, the lights on the quad will flash underneath and you'll be in headless mode which will allow you to, no matter which direction of yaw you're in, you'll be able to pull it back towards you, go left will be left, right will be light, right, forward will be forward, no matter which direction the yaw is. So that could be helpful. 
if you're losing orientation and you need to come back. Um, keep in mind that with this kind of toy grade quad headless mode, you always want to launch and have it turned on with it facing away from you because it just kind of remembers its direction, general direction. Um, it's kind of just a very simple headless mode and return to home. So when you are in headless mode, you just click this button once on the left side and that will uh, initiate the return to the home function and it'll bring the quad. It'll just kind of fly back to you and hopefully until you put any kind of stick movement um, input and then it will stop. And then it's got this uh, kind of throttle limiter which would be good for a trainer. So you've got, um, you can turn it all the way down so it really limits the throttle or you can turn it all the way up to have the full throttle potential. And they have this kind of um, beginner, intermediate, and advanced mode here. And with the X600 I have, I didn't really care for the um, advanced mode because what happens is when you do tilt or pitch over 90 degrees, 90%, 90 it will just start flipping. So it be nice for a really calm day, but um, I really didn't find much use for it in the other uh, MJX vehicles I have. So we'll see how this one does in that mode. But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like it in this one either. Let's go ahead and take this thing out to the park, get some night flight with it so we can see the lights. And uh, kind of come back and do a, f do a pros and cons, final assessment on everything. It does have, um, this one doesn't have the camera or the FPV module, but you can buy separate from MJX the camera. This would be a plug-in for the camera and or the FPV module. Um, and then you can just mount them on the bottom here. So anyway, let's get out there, get some flight video from a hat cam and come on back and see how it did. Got to be 300 feet, 400 feet.
Wow. Range seems really good. We gotta be close to 400 feet. Still in full control. Completely off the throttle. Just kind of floating down. Not sure if this is good for the props, but it's spinning them backwards. Just kind of gliding. Uh, back on the throttle. All right. Wow, nice. Nice quad here. Try some funnels. Like it. Stable. Pilot error. All right, so we're at the park. We're gonna do a little test of the MJX X400. Timer. with the yaw rate slight. This is on rate two. Intermediate rate. Got a little breeze coming from the west, maybe 10 miles, 5 to 10. I'm going to try a couple of features here. First is going to be the headless. And that's just done by holding in the right top trigger. You hear two beats. So we can yaw and just pressing forward, back, left, right. Seems like headless is working good. And then when you're in headless mode, you can do a uh, return to home. So let's try it. You just hit the left trigger one time and it's going to come back in your general direction. Yeah, so it's just the general direction. It's not going to come specifically right back to your location. So let's try that one more time. Should be right here. Pressing the left trigger. And it's coming directly back at me now. Cool. Then you can just stop. Then you can just hold the right stick to get out of Return to home, holding the right trigger, get back out of headless. Cool, very similar to the X600 hexcopter. Alright, let's drop the throttle, see what happens. Falling. 
Back on the throttle. Alright. Seems pretty good. Like it. That's the max speed there. We're in a little bit of wind. Try to flip. Okay, so it drops a bit when flipping. So you gotta push the throttle up to keep it up. Let's do a hover and then flip now. You can see how it drops. So you are gonna have to uh, preferably push the throttle up when you flip. Full blast for a sec. Bye-bye. <laughs> We're at, oh, coming on seven minutes. No blinking lights yet. Pretty easy to fly. So I have cycled the stock battery probably about three times now. And it is fully charged, well it was fully charged for the flight. And the controller is also fully charged with some rechargeable batteries. I always do my tests with fully charged batteries so we get a good a good range determination. Okay, there we go. So the blinking light started eight and a half minutes and let's see how long it'll last before it comes down all right so last time I tested it, it gave about 20 seconds to land I think the lights must have been blinking a little bit but it does give you um, a few seconds to land 10 to 20 seconds cool good test so let's get back to the bench and do our pros and cons what do you think honey like flying this one? Cool. All right. Let's try it till the battery goes up, goes out. If you can get it up pretty high, and then you can do a flip. Don't go too far away, though. There's some wind. There you go. I'll come back and try another one. Good job. Come a little closer. Good job. Why don't you go get it? High five. First time in the video. Hey guys, welcome back. So we got some flight video at the park and also got some night flight video at the house. We were able to see just how well the thing flew and uh, actually let my little daughter um, fly it a little bit and you're able to see kind of how, uh, how easy it was for a child to fly it as well. Um, I would have to say that um, compared to say something like the SEMA X5C, I'd say that this is definitely faster and of course it has more features like headless mode and um, return to home, be it they're very simplistic uh, headless and return to home, they're only going to go in the general direction that you are. But um, I'd have to say that this is definitely faster and not as stable as the SEMA X5C. The SEMA X5C is just known for having that super stable flight, but 
not a very fast quadcopter. This one kind of takes most of the stability and kind of puts it in the high gear and gives you um, much better range. I was getting actually four, about 400 feet of range, which is amazing for a small little toy quad uh, like this. Um, I was actually able to take it 400 feet about, which seemed like 400 feet, directly above above me um, at night at my house. In the park, I didn't want to do too far range, but it seemed like also about a 45 degree angle from you. It would actually um, maintain that about 400 foot range. And then what's cool about it is when you go out of range, this, the lights start to blink a little bit. So at night, it's perfect. If you're up high, you can see the lights start to blink when it's going out of range. And then it will actually kind of start to drop. And then right as soon as it comes back into range, it rebinds with the controller and you have full control again. So I really like that, like that feature. I think they did a good job on you know, the range and what it does once it goes in and out of range. And it is a pretty fast quad. It's um, it's not the fastest, but it's got enough tilt and roll in order for it to fight a pretty good breeze of wind. Um, I think I was fighting it in maybe around 10 mile per hour variables at the most, and it was doing just fine. I still really don't like that advanced mode. Um, the advanced mode just seems kind of worthless for me. Uh, it does have a, if you hit this, this top button here one time on the controller uh, when you are flying it will do just a forward flip and I really wish that MJX would just kinda make the single click on the flip button and put it in flip mode and then any direction you push this tilt and roll stick it should do a flip I just really wish they would just go into that kinda thing like other manufacturers have done instead of having their own little uh, advanced mode where 90% does a flip. It just seems more difficult and then you've got to click through all the way back to get out of that mode. So I don't really like that. I wish they would just kind of do away with that mode. So maybe they're listening and uh, if enough of us ask them to do away with it that don't like it then maybe they will kind of go to the normal type of flip. But anyway, um, getting back to the the flight uh, the headless mode was good. It did really well as long as you launch with it pointing away from you um, and start it up and launch with it pointing away from you. It will come back in headless mode. The return to home will come back in the, the general direction. Of course, if you're flying way off to the right, it will only kind of come back in this direction. So um, I'd, I'd recommend if you do kind of fly away, uh, just make sure that you're kind of positioned. If you're gonna if you're gonna fly far and you're just kind of starting and you can lose orientation easily, try to go just directly in front of you until you learn kind of how the ori orientation works and all that stuff. But those modes did work very well. Um, what I really liked the big pro was the controller having that. Uh, all different modes for all different types of flyers is a really big bonus in MJX Corner. So I think I think um, a lot of people will be really appreciative of that. Getting into the flight time, um, I only tested the stock battery. I don't have any uh, batteries that are larger, 3.7 volt, that will fit in here. Um, but it did get eight and a half minutes of really hard flight at the park outside. Um, at night time taking it sky high that 400 feet to test the range and I was really impressed by the eight and a half minutes for the stock battery that's impressive an impressive time and I just can't get over that um, the range on this thing it was really good it was actually I want to say about twice as good as the X600 I got to review but anyway all in all it's an easy to easy to fly quad it has the performance if you wanted to go a little faster. It's got decent flight time. The range is unbelievable for uh as far as I'm concerned for for a little a little quadcopter like this. And the styling, I like the styling. It's got kind of a neat uh sport styling to it. I really like having the switch right on top here. 
Um, MJX seems to do this with all their quads now is um, putting this the switch right on top and that's really convenient a lot of quads like um, for example the um, Q7 FY326 kind of the SEMA X5C replica doesn't have any switch at all it's just you plug it in and um, then it's on I really like how MJX has, has put the switch on top easily accessible and you don't have to worry about it turning on right when you plug in the battery you can set it down for a while with the battery plugged in and then just turn it on when you're when you're good and ready another thing that they did was this kind of modular design on the motor the motor mounts which is actually really simple to change I think there's another couple of videos um, on YouTube I think quadcopter 101 did a a little quick little video on how to change the motors real simple you just pop these two screws off open that up and then take this screw off and really all you do is you pull this whole assembly you kind of tug this whole assembly it pops out and then um, there's a plug right in here that you can plug your new motor right into and then you just basically unplug that slide your motor up and out and slide your new motor back in plug it in snap this back together put in one two three screws and you're done so I really like that kind of modular design that um, M MJX RC has has incorporated into this as well. So anyway, guys, um, really fun quad. I would say this is definitely a competitor to the SEMA X5C. Not quite as stable, but it is faster. The range is at least twice as far as the X5C, and it also has more modes on the controller, and you have those options to do all the different. Um, types of control modes as well for say left-handed people, right-handed people, people that like the throttle on the left and right. You can switch all that from the controller. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Again, this was a review model from lighttake.com. I'll have a link in the description of where you can pick one of these up if you're interested. And I hope this review was helpful to see if you wanted to go ahead and get something like this. I sure liked it. I'm sure you will. Um, check out my other videos. Subscribe, like, comment. I do a lot of uh, reviews on quadcopters and RC in general and also some tech like cameras and I'm going to be expanding a lot in that realm. So um, anyway guys, hope you liked the review and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.